Hello, welcome back to Learn Economy. Today we are going to discuss the difference between the returns to variable factor versus returns to scalar. Let's have a look into this. In the case of returns to variable factor, as we could see from here, this is what shows is the returns to something called variable factor. So it is specified here, variable factor. In the process of production, we will be using certain fixed factors as well as variable factors. And for the very same reason, we are looking on to the case where output is a function of two factors, labor and capital. In this case, let's consider labor as the variable factor. Okay. Now, we are considering here a scenario where there is a change in the output when the quantity of one factor is changed and the other inputs are remaining as fixed. Here we are changing labor and we are seeing the role of labor change on output. So we see how does the change in labor, whether increase or decrease, affect the output. And here one important thing to note is capital is remain as fixed or capital is something that we assume as fixed. Capital is kept as fixed. That is something related to returns to variable factor. What about returns to scale? Again, in the case of returns to scale, we consider the output as a function of labor and capital, the two inputs that we use in production function. And here, we are increasing both the inputs simultaneously and at the very same proportion and we are seeing the role of the very same on output. Here, if we increase labor by 20 percentage, we will be increasing capital also by 20 percentage and see the role of this in output. Okay, so having said so, let's have more differences. Here, in the case of law of variable proportion or return to factor, we are dealing with a very short run phenomenon. And what is the case with short run? In short run, certain inputs are fixed. Certain inputs are fixed. And that is why we have kept capital as constant in short run. And we are evading only labor and see how it would be influencing the output. This is a very simplified model. Uh, which is explained in law of variable proportion, a two input uh, model which would be influencing the output. Here we keep capital as fixed and labor as variable. Now, coming to the returns to scale, it's a quite long run phenomenon. Why? Because we vary both labor and capital. And for the very same reason, we do not have fixed factor here. We do not have fixed factor when it comes to the returns to scale. It's a very long run phenomenon. Now, again, we do have more differences in, in the case of the law of variable factor. In the case of the returns to factor. We study the effect of change in one input on output. So as I have told, we are just looking at the role of labor change on output. Just that. Capital is constant. And what about returns to scale? We just look into the change in all inputs and the effect of the very same on output. So we change all factors and we look at the role of 
change in all factors on output here also we could see effect role or effect effect of labor change on output in the first case and effect of change in all factors on output on the second case in the law of variable factor or in the case of law of variable proportion the law of variable proportions or returns to variable factor okay here we this is also known as returns to variable factor this is having three stage or this is actually a three stage model where we will have something called the increasing situation so here in the case of increasing returns what happens is that you will be getting your more output your total product will be increasing and we will be having something called diminishing returns and here this is the second stage i'll be doing a separate video on uh, the law of variable proportion where, uh, where i'll be discussing all the different stages then the third stage with respect to this is called the negative returns here your marginal product will become negative and what about the returns to scale again we do have three levels we can have uh, decreasing returns here the, we call it as re decreasing returns to scale then you have increasing returns to scale then you have constant returns to scale each of these i'll explain in detail in separate video where we will be having a video on law of variable proportion and uh, law of return to scale where we discuss how uh, these three different stages and three different levels would be there uh, when it comes to both short run production function and long run production function so that's it uh, for today uh, thank you for watching kali like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos you can join our telegram community for free uh, for discussion and also uh, you can download the learn economy app i'll be providing the link of all these two in the description box also i request you to like share and subscribe to this channel uh, thank you for watching